Good morning, CFF. So good to be with you one more time. Buenos días, Centro Familiar de Fe. Es un gozo estar con ustedes una vez más. As you know, once a month, the first Sunday of the month, we do church at home. Y como saben, el primer domingo de cada mes hacemos el servicio en casa. And that is to be able to bring the word of God to the entire family. Y la razón es para poder llevar la palabra de Dios a la familia entera. Today, we have a message that I believe can really change uh, not only the circumstance, but the heart of people. Yo tengo un mensaje que creo que no solamente va a cambiar la circunstancia, pero también el corazón de las personas. I believe that if we change, everything changes. Yo creo que si yo cambio, todo cambia. If I change, everything changes. Si yo cambio, todo cambia. And I'm believing that God will change our hearts today. Y yo creo que Dios cambiará nuestros corazones why don't, el día de hoy. Why don't we go ahead and read? I'm going to read it in English and you can follow along in Spanish. ¿Por qué no leemos? Vamos a leerlo solamente en inglés y en español estará en la parte de abajo. And uh, I'm going to go to Acts chapter 3. Y vamos a estar leyendo de Hechos capítulo 3. Verse one through ten. Del uno al diez. And it says, Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who enter the temple. Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked for alms, and fixing his eyes on him with Peter, John uh, with John, Peter said, "Look at us." So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, "Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk." And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle, ankle bones received strength. So he leaped up, stood, and walked, and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who, had, who, who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your word. Señor, gracias por tu palabra. Thank you for this truth. Y por esta verdad. We stand on it. We believe it. Nos paramos en ella y la creemos. In your name we pray. En tu nombre oramos. Amen. Amen. It's amazing how many times you could read the, the Bible in the same part and receive something different every single time. Es increíble cómo puedes leer el mismo pasaje y recibir algo diferente cada vez. This is one of those passages that you can spend, you know, years and it literally will minister to you at different points of your life. Este es un pasaje que puedes leer por años y literalmente te va a ministrar en cada área diferente. I've preached about this many times. Yo he predicado de esto muchas veces. I mean, I can tell you, I know this part of the Bible. Te puedo decir, yo conozco esta parte de la Biblia. It says that the, that that this this man, this beggar, was sitting in this in this gate, and the gate had a name, and the name was beautiful. Nos habla que esta persona estaba sentada en una puerta y la puerta se llamaba hermosa. Now the crazy thing is that he has no name, but the gate has a name. Lo que me impresiona es que él ni siquiera the Bible tells us that the name was beautiful. I don't want to get into history. I just want to ask you, why would, why would the gate be named beautiful? Y no quiero hablar mucho de la historia, pero te quiero hacer esta pregunta. ¿Por qué le llamaban hermosa a la puerta? Because a gate is a place of transition. Porque una puerta es un lugar de transición. A gate is a place of a new moment, a new chapter, a new beginning, so to speak. Una puerta es un lugar de un nuevo comienzo, un nuevo capítulo. Transitions can be so beautiful. Las transiciones pueden ser tan hermosas. Transitions can be exciting. Las transiciones pueden ser emocionantes. But if you remain in a transition too long, pero si permaneces en una transición mucho tiempo, it can become not only painful, Puede volverse doloroso, but destructive. Y también destructivo. Many times we look forward to those moments of the gate, those transition moments. Muchas veces queremos esos momentos de transición. But we get stuck. Pero nos atoramos. For whatever reason, we can be stuck in a beautiful moment or in a transition. Por cualquier razón nos quedamos atorados en esa transición. And instead of being a blessing, it becomes a curse. Y en vez de ser una bendición, se vuelve una maldición. Instead of being exciting, it becomes a burden. En vez de emocionarnos, se vuelve una carga. Let me put it like this. The birth of a child is a beautiful transitional moment. Lo voy a poner de esta manera. El nacimiento de un hijo es una transición hermosa. As you know, my wife is seven months pregnant and I'm really excited to see my my son's face. Como ustedes saben, mi esposa tiene siete meses de embarazo y estoy tan emocionado de ver el rostro de mi hijo. But I keep hearing of these moms that are like 10 hours in labor, 20 hours in labor, 30, one of my friends had 35 hours in labor. Pero he escuchado uh, testimonios de gente que ha estado 10, 20, inclusive una amiga mía estuvo 35 horas 
para dar a luz. I can't do anything for 35 hours, yo no let alone hacer, push. Yo no puedo hacer nada por 35 horas menos eventually they just had to do a c-section because because it was too much they were stuck in that transitional moment eventualmente tuvieron que operar porque estaban atorados en ese momento de transición see the birth of a child can be amazing el nacimiento de un hijo puede ser algo increíble but if you are stuck in that moment it becomes dangerous pero si te quedas atorado en ese momento se vuelve muy riesgoso I mean at CFF we have people getting engaged all the time en Centro Familiar de Fe tenemos gente que se compromete una y otra vez Alex and, and Angel congratulations on your new engagement I think you guys are the most recent engagement Alex y Angel se acaban de comprometer muchas felicidades and uh, it's just such a beautiful thing to see couples get engaged it's a transitional moment y es emocionante ver como parejas se comprometen y es un momento de transición tan hermoso it's that beautiful gate es ese, esa puerta hermosa But what would happen if Alex and Angel are engaged for a little too long? <laughs> Have you met anybody that's been engaged for like Six years, seven years. ¿Has conocido a alguien que esté comprometido por siete, ocho años? Some of you guys are, are I'm about to start a fight at some people's homes, but but it is it is literally lame. Algunos de ustedes se puede que estén peleando ya en casa por esa situación, pero es algo muy feo. Right, it's not nice. It was it started beautiful, it was exciting, but the years go by and you get stuck at that beautiful gate. Empezó como algo hermoso y mientras los años pasan quedas atorado en esa puerta hermosa. And you have to wonder why are you still there? Y tienes que hacerte esta pregunta, ¿por qué sigo aquí? And I feel like God began to speak to me through this passage and saying so many people right now are a transitional moment. Y yo y sentí que Dios me empezó a hablar de este pasaje y me decía que hay gente que está en este momento de transición. See, this pandemic has brought a transitional moment. It is a gate moment. We're not supposed to live there. Esta pandemia ha traído transición en nuestras vidas. Es un momento de transición. No tenemos que permanecer aquí. No one lives at a door. No one lives at a gate. Nadie se queda a vivir en una puerta. You either live inside or live outside, but you don't live at the gate. Vives o adentro o afuera, pero no vives en la puerta. And this moment in our lives is just a transition. Y este momento en nuestras vidas es eso, una transición. And that is exciting. Y eso es emocionante. Can you understand what I'm saying? That that this moment will pass. That this moment better pass. Si puedes entender que este momento va a pasar. But some people will be stuck in this moment a little bit too long, and that is a painful thing. Pero hay gente que queda quedará atorada en este momento de transición por mucho tiempo, y eso va a ser doloroso. Some other people will come out of the moment stronger, wiser, better. Hay gente que saldrá este momento más fuerte, más sabia, mejor. But some people. We remain in this chapter a little too long, and it is my prayer that God helps you to see what transitional moments you need to get out of. Que permanece, permanecerá en esta transición por mucho tiempo. Yo oro que Dios te muestre qué momentos de transición tienes que salir. Which transition are you still stuck in? En qué momento de trans transición sigues atorado. Let me go back a little bit into this into this this verse because it gives you some amazing insight into how to get out of of that moment that we may be stuck in. Déjame regresar un poquito a la historia para que te dé un poco de contexto qué momento puede estar atorado en tu vida. Number one thing is that we said that this man had no name. He's na he's known for his weakness. Número uno, esta persona no tenía nombre, se le conocía por su debilidad. How sad it is to be known for your weakness and not for your strength and not for your character. Qué tristeza es que te llame la gente por tu debilidad y no por tu carácter o tus fortalezas like that one person you know oh yeah yeah the guy the, 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 the guy that's always angry you know the angry guy como esa persona que siempre está atorada el enojón ¿te acuerdas de él? maybe you the father at home you're not the provider you are the ogre a lo mejor tú el padre en casa no eres el proveedor sino el, el ogro or maybe the mother maybe you're not the, the nurturing woman the one who works hard maybe you're the nagger a lo mejor la mamá no eres la mujer trabajadora sino la más no, no, la, la, no la, nagger, es la, la, la canzona. La canzona. You know, or, or maybe, or maybe you're as a son, you're not the, the, the happy child anymore, no, or, or the creative guy. O a lo mejor como hijo no eres el hijo feliz o el hijo creativo. Now you're just a lazy guy. Eres el hijo flojo. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. No sé si sepas lo que yo te digo. But sometimes, Pero a veces, instead of being known for what God created us to be, en vez de ser conocidos por lo que Dios nos creó, it's kind of like, Our personality begins to be impacted by our downfall so much Nuestra personalidad es impactada por nuestros fallos tantos that it annuls our future, it annuls who we are. Que limita nuestro futuro y quién, quiénes somos. Please listen for a second. Por favor, escuche un segundo. Just because your finances are limited now, Solamente porque tus finanzas son limitadas hoy, it doesn't mean you're poor. No significa que eres pobre. Poor is not a person, it's a present condition. Pobre no es una persona, sino una condición física. But it's a moment you can get out of. Pero es un momento del 
cual puede salir. Sickness. Enfermedad. You're not sick. You are not sick. Sick is not a person. Tú no eres enfermo. Enfermo no es una persona. Sickness is a condition. Enfermo, enfermedad es una condición. And that you can't get out of as well. Y de esa condición también puede salir. You may say, yeah, but I'm terminally, terminally ill. Y tú puedes decir, yo estoy enfermo a muerte. You don't know what I'm battling with. No sabes con qué estoy batallando. And I can tell you two simple things. Y déjame decirte dos cosas simples. My God can heal miraculously. Mi Dios puede sanar milagrosamente. And my God, if you trust in him, if you know him, if you love him. Y mi Dios, si tú lo confías, si tú le amas. One day, no matter what happens to you in this world there will be a moment of joy of no more sickness no more pain no more sorrow so I can confidently tell you that sickness even the worst of sickness is momentary and there will be a moment where you won't have to deal with it anymore to the contrary it will be a beautiful thing because sometimes we get so stuck in the moment that it becomes who we are and I love this that this it says that this man was was lame from the time he was born now I don't know if the writer you know saw him from the time he was born but perhaps he knew about him and you may say Pastor, you don't know me. That's who I am. That's how I am. I'm just an angry person. Or you know what? I'm just a violent person. O soy una persona violenta. Or you know, I'm just chill. You know, I'm... I, I don't really like to work that hard. Soy That's called lazy. Soy un flojo. No me gusta duro. You know, it's just my personality. I'm, I'm naturally depressive. Es mi na Soy por you know, I'm just a melancholic. I, I cry. That's what I do. I cry. Soy Eso es lo que yo hago. From the time I was little, Desde que era I would just cry. Lloraba. And I can tell you today, y hoy, there's a way to stop being lame. There's a way to, to get out of that place. Hay una de salir de ese lugar. And the first thing is to be able to recognize y lo es poder that there's more for you. Que hay más para that God can change your circumstance. Que Dios puede tu that instead of your children looking at a marriage that is falling apart and hurting inside. Instead of your daughters thinking thinking to themselves I never want to get married or instead of your sons thinking if that's what marriage is I want nothing to do with it you see I believe that God wants to turn things from a place of, of sorrow a place of sadness into a place of joy a place of, 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 of glory to God first thing is this though is to realize es darte cuenta. that even if your head wants to go somewhere sometimes your legs won't take you sometimes you, you in your mind you've made up your mind you want to do something but your legs won't respond I know people that say pastor I really want to follow God and in their minds they have decided but something is wrong something is broken they keep falling into the same trap y en su mente ya lo decidieron pero algo está mal y siguen cayendo en la misma trampa one day you're convinced that God is for you one day you're convinced that you and your family will serve God un día tú estás convencido de que tú y tu familia servirán a Dios and then the next week pero la siguiente semana you're back at the gate regresas a la puerta one foot in and one foot out un pie adentro un pie afuera first thing you need to realize lo primero que tienes que darte cuenta is that no one lives at the gate es que nadie vive en la puerta and God is going to change your name y Dios va a cambiar tu nombre God is going to change not just your circumstance but also your heart va a cambiar tu, no solamente tu circunstancia pero también tu corazón where what you think you will actually follow through lo que tú piensas eso se hará and what you think y lo que tú piensas will bless your family will bless your generations bendecirá tu familia y tus generaciones number two and I think it's so simple and yet so beautiful and that is that this man it says in the Bible that they would bring him daily to the, to the gates now, I don't know who they are I don't know who brought him maybe it was his, his family maybe it was a kind church member that would bring him to the gate so he can receive something can I tell you something sometimes it takes 
process. Déjame decirte algo. A veces se requiere proceso. Sometimes God will do things, boom, like right away. A miracle happens and it's amazing. A veces Dios hará un milagro así, boom, de repente, increíble. En But este sometimes momento. you need the daily factor in your life. Pero a veces necesitas el factor diario en tu vida. Sometimes we need that daily factor, that one thing that you say, this I will do until things change. A veces tienes que tener ese factor diario que digas, esto haré hasta que la cosa cambie. Can you, can you, can you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like that daily factor, daily, 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 daily. ¿Sabes a qué me refiero? Ese factor diario, 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 like some diario. people read the Bible la gente a veces lee la but some people read it daily Pero hay gente que la lee some people tell their wives yeah I love you but some people stare at her daily and just say you are so beautiful some people go to the gym hay gente que va al but some people do it daily Pero hay gente que va Some people work really hard. Hay gente que trabaja muy duro. But some people do it daily. Pero hay gente que trabaja duro Can todos I tell you, días. this man Déjame decirte had este to hombre. be brought daily, daily. Fue traído a la puerta diariamente. There's a process in our lives. Hay un proceso en nuestras vidas. Therein lies the difference between a miracle, which is just a moment, something so rapid, something so amazing. Y es la diferencia de un milagro, algo que sucede instantáneamente, increíble, a, hermoso. And a person who has learned to walk in blessing. Y una persona que ha aprendido a caminar en bendición. God will give a miracle to anyone in this world. Dios le puede dar un milagro a cualquier persona en este even mundo. Even people that don't know him or even love him. Inclusive gente que no lo ama o no le conoce. People that may know him but don't Don't care about him. God is a God of miracles. Dios es un Dios de But to walk in the blessings of God. Pero en las de Dios. To have a transformed life, not just a redeemed life. Tener una vida no solamente redimida. To be restored. Ser restaurado. And not just saved y no solamente salvo. that's a different thing Eso es algo diferente. that takes the daily factor Eso se requiere el factor diario. can you say you know what Puedes decir, ¿sabes I'm going to pray Voy a orar. daily I'm going to ask God to help me Voy a pedirle a Dios que me ayude. daily Diariamente. I'm going to ask God to give me creative ideas, Voy a pedirle a Dios que me dé ideas creativas. daily Diarias. until it happens Hasta que suceda. I'm going to ask God to restore my relationship with my, with my family and I'm going to do something for them y haré algo para ellos. daily Diariamente. That, it, that people will not be amazed when it happens que la gente no quede sorprendida cuando pasa. but that people will be amazed when they're not receiving What you should be giving them. Pero que la gente se quede sorprendida cuando reciban lo que no le tendrías que dar. Have you ever been amazed by someone hug, someone's hugging, hu someone's hug? ¿Alguna vez te impresionado el abrazo de una persona? Or someone's happiness. O la felicidad de alguien. It's almost like, well, what happened to him? All of a sudden, he's all happy. ¿Qué le pasó? De repente está tan feliz. Wow, did that just give you a hug? Is he sick? Papá te dio un abrazo. ¿Está enfermo? <laughs> did, did he go to the doctor and they told him something? Why, why is he acting all loving now? Fue al doctor y el doctor le dijo algo. ¿Por qué ahora resulta tan amoroso? Why don't we change those things? ¿Por qué no cambiamos esas cosas? Why don't we begin to do those things daily? ¿Por qué no hacemos esas cosas diarias? To when it doesn't happen. Para que cuando no pase. I have a friend. Yo tengo un amigo. Who's, who had a, a lot of, he would butt a lot of, he, he would butt heads a lot with his father. Con el cual él chocaba mucho con su papá. Uh, his father grew up you know, in a very harsh home, a very harsh environment. And su, his father wasn't loving at all. Su papá creció en un ambiente muy, muy difícil y él no era un padre amoroso. You might know him. His name is Pastor Freddy. I love, he's, he's actually my best friend. A lo mejor ustedes lo conocen, Pastor <laughs> Freddy. De hecho, es mi mejor amigo. And he said that when he went to encounter Chris, y dice que cuando fue al encuentro, that, uh, that God showed him that he needed to love his dad. Que Dios le enseñó que él tenía que amar a su papá. He said that the first time he went to hug his dad, y dice que la primera vez que fue a abrazar a su papá, it was like, fue así. Like this really awkward hug. Un abrazo muy raro. Kind of like right now. Kidding, nah, nah. It was a really awkward hug. Un abrazo muy raro. He said that the father even kind of pushed him away. Dice que el padre como que se alejó de él un poquito. But Freddy determined to daily hug his dad. Pero Freddy determinó abrazar a su papá And his todos dad would begin to make fun of him a little bit, you know? Y su papá se empezó inclusive a burlar un poco de él. And you know, his dad wasn't a believer, so, so, so he would poke fun at him because he was trying to be loving. Y su papá no era creyente, así que se burlaba un poco porque él quería ser amoroso a, a su papá. Ay, ¿Y ahora qué mosco te picó? Y le decía, now what happened to you? Like, ¿Qué te, te hiciste? Te, like, te, te, ¿Te cambiaron? ¿Qué te pasó? Who changed you? What happened? And listen, Freddy kept on doing this daily. Y escucha, Pastor Freddy que insistió haciendo esto todos los días. It was awesome. We were talking about this not too long ago. Fue increíble porque no hace mucho hablábamos de esto. That Freddy said, I even began to give my dad a kiss in the cheek. Que inclusive le 
Freddy decía que inclusive le empezó a dar un beso a su papá en la mejilla. Now he's not Argentinian. Él no es argentino. If he was Argentinian, it's okay. Si fuera argentino, está bien. Men are used to kissing in the cheek. Los hombres están acostumbrados a darse besos en el cachete. So when he first gave his dad a kiss in the cheek, así cuando él besó a su papá en el cachete, his dad literally wiped it off. Su papá literalmente se lo limpió. Imagine you give your dad a kiss in the cheek and he wipes it off. Imagínate que le das un beso a tu papá y él se lo limpie. But he said that he kept on doing this daily. Pero él dice que él lo hizo todos los días. Until what time he was in such a hurry he had to go to work and he left the house Hasta que un día él en tan apuro que se fue de la casa sin hacerlo. and his dad ran to the door y su papá a la puerta, and he said hey Freddy, y le dijo, Freddy ¿no se te olvida algo? have you forgotten something? and Freddy was like my keys no what, do I, what did I forget? Y Freddy, ¿qué, qué se me olvidaron, mis llaves? he said ven y le dice, Come. and his dad reached out his arms y su papá sus brazos, and he gave his son a kiss y le da un a su hijo. that's the power of daily Ese es el poder de todos los días. what are you doing daily ¿Qué estás haciendo todos los días? let me move forward a little Déjame bit ir adelante un poquito. sometimes a veces, it's not just recognize our condition no es solamente reconocer tu condición. And understanding that we need to go through a process. Y entender que tenemos que atravesar un proceso. But sometimes we need someone to help us get there. Pero a veces necesitamos que alguien nos ayude a llegar ahí. And this is the hardest part for some people. Y esto es lo más difícil para cierta gente. It says that they would bring them daily. Dice que la gente o alguien lo llevaba a él todos los días. The Bible says. La Biblia dice. That Peter and John told them. Look at us. Que Pedro y Juan le dijeron, Míranos. Look up. Mírame. Look at us. Mírame. This beggar only could see his current condition. Este cojo solamente podía ver su condición física. Maybe you in your marriage. A lo mejor tú en tu matrimonio. Or in your current financial situation. O en tu situación financiera. You're just looking at your life. Tú estás viendo tu vida. Or maybe you're looking at your own emotional downfall. You're, you're looking at your, at your sick place. O estás viendo tu lugar de enfermedad. Maybe you're looking at your, your physical condition. A lo mejor estás viendo tu condición física. And all you can see is that you refuse to look up sometimes God will bring people along your life consolidators people that are disciple makers that will help you to simply look up now I, I love that these people don't have to be perfect do you know how imperfect Peter was you know how impulsive Peter could be you know that Peter Peter denied Jesus so many times you know that Peter he tried to cut somebody's head off instead he cut his ear and God had to help him to mend his mistakes you know that Peter was the only disciple that was called Satan Jesus told him get behind me Satan Jesús le dijo, de mí, Satanás. Now I know that Peter wasn't Satan. Yo sé que Pedro no era Satanás, but Peter. Pero Pedro opened the door to the enemy at some point in his life and Jesus had to deal with him but Peter Peter had something special Peter had something greater than gold and silver Peter had something so much more valuable than anything that this world has to offer you know this world follows success they just don't follow the success of heaven what people think success is is not success let me tell you something this man this beggar he was begging for gold and silver this beggar beggar por Diosero, right? este por Diosero. this guy he thought he needed gold and silver oro y plata. and Peter and John had something greater to offer y Pedro y Juan algo mejor que Peter and John says look up Pedro y Juan le dicen, Mírame. I have no gold and silver no tengo oro ni plata. but what I do have Pero lo que tengo, I give to you lo you know what he had in him ¿Sabes que tenía en él? he had the healing of God in his heart tenía la sanidad de Jesús en you know what Peter had ¿Sabes que tenía Pedro? he had the hope of the world in his heart la esperanza del mundo en su you know what Peter had ¿Sabes que tenía? an intimate relationship with Jesus you know what Peter had the victorious mindset of one who falls but stands again and again and again you know what's greater than gold and silver your testimony after you've been tested you can look up at God and say you are faithful you are good sometimes we need a Peter we need a John we need someone in our lives that would tell us look up look at me now it is difficult to look at people at times 
Let me tell you why. Because we've been let down before. Because perhaps you like me. Just as I did. I used to look at people. And all I would see was the outside appearance. All I would see was what they can give to me. According to what I wanted. But you know what the Bible says? That men look at the outward appearance. But God looks at the heart. You know something else? Some people have a really hard time trusting people because they don't see what this beggar saw. I love this part. Listen. <laughs> this is awesome. This man saw not only John and Peter. They saw Jesus. They saw the power of God. You know how I can pastor people that are so flawed. I mean, so jacked up. Sometimes pastoring it's like, how do I tell you? It's, it's like a roller coaster. You see people and you're like, these people are doing amazing. They're killing it. They're doing great. Like they're flying. They're like in heaven. And the next day they're dragging their feet. They're like falling apart. They're sinning. They're messing up. I've learned as a pastor to believe in people, not only when they're up here, but down here as well. Yo he aprendido como pastor en confiar en la gente no solamente cuando están arriba pero cuando también están abajo. Let me tell you why. Déjame decirte por Because I learned to see like a beggar. Porque yo empecé a ver como un por diosero. What did the beggar see? ¿Qué vio el por diosero? What did that beggar see? ¿Qué vio este por diosero? He saw hope. Vio esperanza. He saw God at work in someone. Vio el trabajo de Dios en la vida de alguien. He saw the God in them. Vio Dios en ellos. Can you see God in people? Puedes ver a Dios en la gente. I know you can see their mistakes. Yo sé que puedes ver sus errores. Those are always easier to see. Esos son fáciles de ver. Peter said, I don't have gold and silver. Pero Pedro dijo, yo no tengo oro ni plata. The guy could have said, forget that then, get out of here. Next. El <laughs> pudo haber dicho, aléjate entonces. <laughs> then, then what are you going to give me? Entonces, ¿qué me vas a dar? No, this man remained expectant. Pero este hombre permaneció expectante. He had something greater than gold and silver. Tenía algo más grande que el oro y la plata. I believe that today, Yo creo que hoy, what you need most lo que más necesitas, may not be gold and silver. No es oro y plata. Maybe he's the creator of heaven and earth. A lo mejor es el creador de los cielos y la tierra. Maybe what you need A lo mejor lo que tú necesitas is peace. Es paz. Power, Poder, purpose, propósito, and forgiveness. Y perdón, the peace of God la paz de Dios, that surpasses all understanding. Que todo the power to overcome the enemy, the world, and the flesh. The purpose that only God can give that will give you the strength for tomorrow. And the forgiveness y el perdón, not only to others but to yourself no as well. Para otros, pero para ti mismo can you see what Jesus gives? Ver lo que Dios da. He gives everything. Él da todo. Because when a man is healthy he can overcome sometimes the reason you're still at the gate is not because you want to be there but it's because you're unhealthy because some things need to heal and I know it's not easy to hear this I know of men that refuse to get married. Yo conozco hombres que se niegan a casar. They see the beautiful girl. They see this amazing woman. O se niegan a casar. Se ven esta mujer increíble. But they're so afraid of commitment. Pero tienen tanto miedo al compromiso. And I go back to that scene of that family of that father. Y yo regreso a esa escena de ese padre e hijo. And that child that said, "I will never get married." Look at him. Ese hijo que dijo, yo jamás me casaré. Mira esto. I see so many people that should be starting business, should be doing great financially, but they're so afraid. Instead of conquering, they're just retaining. Veo tanta gente que en vez de empezar un, un negocio tienen tanto miedo y en vez de conquistar están retenidos. I see so many young people full of talent. Veo gente joven llena de talentos. But they refuse to grow. They refuse to throw themselves into it. Pero se niegan a crecer. I see so many people living at the gate of church. Veo gente viviendo en las puertas de la iglesia. At the gate of the relationship relationship with the Father. God is telling them, come on, let's do this right. And they're just sitting at the gates. One foot in the world. 
un pie en el mundo. and one foot in church y un pie en la and you may think you're getting the best of both worlds it's like that one guy that told me I don't need a paper to love this person why get married it's just a contract anyway and if you look at it that way I guess so but when you understand that when you tell somebody till death do us part when you realize that when you stand before witnesses and you stand before your God and you make a covenant and not a contract you get something different a contract can be broken when one person doesn't do their end but a covenant says no matter what happens I'm here till the end some people want to receive the blessing of a covenant only through contracts your relationship with God is just a contract you see fine God if you heal my mom then I will serve you that's a contract a covenant says no matter what happens to me to my family I will serve you God though you smite me I will love thee though you smite me even though you kill me I will still serve you I will still love you one of the things that I've come to understand and I understood it through my widowed mother through my widowed mother my mom who who whose husband passed away at a very young age. I learned that a woman who was 27 years old and three children by her side and every excuse not to serve Jesus. Everyone would tell her, Gina, it's okay. It's okay. We understand. You don't have to do this anymore. She still remained a missionary. She still was a coordinator in this huge university to serve Jesus one thing I learned about that widow is that although you kill me although you take everything from me I will still serve you you're still God you're still worthy then then you receive the benefit of a, ble of a, of a, co of a covenant this beggar had a big issue he had a big issue he saw everything that happened in church and I'm sure he began to learn the sermons I'm sure he could he could recite the moment you know when the prayer would come he knew exactly when it would happen I think he knew when the pastor was about to finish his sermon such as I'm doing now <laughs> I think the beggar knew the songs better than perhaps some of the people in the choir I see this beggar perhaps as some Pastors, kids, or leaders, sons and daughters. I see so many people who used to go to church, perhaps with their grandma. But they were never really fully in. They were never really fully invested. You say, Pastor, you don't know me. Dices, Pastor, tú no me conoces. I served. Yo serví. I sang. Yo canté. I used to preach. Yo predicaba. That's your problem. Ese es tu problema. You used to. Tú lo hacías antes. I can't stop a covenant. Yo no puedo detener un pacto. I believe that God wants to do something different to you today. He wants to make you the kind of person that knows how to fully invest. How to say no matter what happens this is who I am. In your marriage you've been contemplating maybe you've been contemplating walking out. I don't know who you are but I urge you to be a person of covenant to say God you can do something you can do something would you please do it you can do something help me look up help me to have healing in my marriage help this family get restored let me finish with something that I think it's awesome. This guy, at some point, Esta persona, en algún punto, received his healing. La this guy, at some point, Esta the Bible says that his 
ankle bones began to strengthen. And he leaped up. Y se levantó. He jumped up. Brincó. And he walked himself in a church. <laughs> y caminó, pudo a la Everyone in there was so amazed. Todos ahí tan They all started glorifying God. A They're like, is that him? ¿Es él? Is that him? ¿Es él? Dude, it's him. ¿Es él? It's him. ¿Es él? Everybody knew him. Todos lo it's a small town. Es un The Bible says that they began to worship God. They began to glorify God. Something happens. Something happens when your transition ends. And that is this. Not only do you enter a new chapter, but you help others enter theirs. When you overcome something, you become an argument breaker. My mother was an argument breaker in my life. I believe I'm speaking to argument breakers. I'm, breaking, I'm, I'm talking to some people that no matter how long you've been at the gate, no matter how long you've been in the moment, stuck in the moment, I believe that when you overcome not if but when people around you those that know you best will look at you and say isn't that him? wait I know this person there's no way and they will have no other choice but to say it had to be God it had to be the Lord you know my sister was the reason I'm here today in great part meaning I didn't want to be a pastor I didn't want to do this vision this vision of winning souls and making disciples and really changing the world through the love of Jesus Christ. I used to make fun of my sister because when she went to her encounter she completely changed. Okay, my sister and I were like nemesis. We hated each other. I know that's a very strong word to hate each other but we couldn't even talk we couldn't even be in the same room it was, it was just chaos every time the enemy had driven a wedge between us he had driven us apart so much but when my sister encountered the love of God I knew something had changed when I tried to insult her she wouldn't receive the insults the same way It, it's almost like my insults were compliments it was so weird I couldn't take her joy away she was different she had changed I would say oh yeah now okay now you're because see when she went to her encounter uh, uh, she I don't know how to say this like her face changed she was She was joyous. And I tried to take that away. But I couldn't. There was victory in her heart. And she invited me to my encounter. The first few times I laughed at her. But eventually, I went to my encounter. I encountered the love of God. Oh, I knew the Bible before. Yo conocía la Biblia antes. I was such a cynical Christian. Era un cristiano tan cínico. I still believed in God. Seguía creyendo en Dios. I just didn't believe everything he said was for me. Pero no creía que todo lo que él decía era para mi vida. I still liked him. A mí me gustaba But Dios. I didn't want to be like him. Pero yo no quería ser como él. When I went to my encounter, Pero cuando fue mi encuentro, the Lord healed my heart. El Señor sanó mi the Lord blessed me so much. Me bendijo tanto. He changed my future forever. Cambió mi futuro para siempre. All because of my sister's Conquest. Todo por la conquista de mi hermana. Because my sister mi no longer lived at the gate. Ya no vivía en la puerta. She began to be radical for Jesus. Empezó a ser radical para Dios. And I thank her so much. Yo le agradezco tanto. Because when I saw that, cuando yo vi eso, I wanted it too. Yo lo quería también. Dear Christians, Queridos cristianos, today is a beautiful day hoy es un gran día. to say, God, Para decir, Dios, help me to be fully in. A de lleno. This is not a time este no es un to live at the gate. Para vivir en la This is a time es un to be fully invested in Christ. Para estar al This is the time Cristo to Cristo. tell your family. Es el de a tu We've been at the gate too long. Hemos en la mucho 
We've been pushing too hard for too long. Hemos empujado por mucho. We either do this now. O hacemos esto completamente. Or we're going to be in greater danger. O vamos a estar en gran peligro. This is the time. Este es el tiempo. Let me pray for you. Déjame orar por usted. That God would help you. Que Dios te ayude. To strengthen your feet. A levantarte y ponerte de pie. To give you hope. Que te dé fuerza en tu pie. That God would put key people in your life. Que Dios ponga gente clave en tu vida. That can bring you daily. Que te acerque todos los días. That when you don't want to go. Cuando tú no quieras ir. They could encourage you and rebuke you. Y te puedan motivar y reprender. Pray for you just as John and Peter take you by the hand and say come on let's go let's go to our father's house let's, let's get to know God together I may not have everything that the world offers but I have something so much better let's pray dear God I ask you now that if there's anyone here that is listening and they recognize that they're in a transitional moment. Dear God, I pray that you help us to come out of those places that perhaps were good at some point. Maybe someone is in a living condition, Lord. And at first it was a blessing. Y primero era una bendición. That small room was a blessing. Ese pequeño, ese cuarto pequeño era una bendición. That cute apartment was a blessing. Ese apartamento bonito era una But bendición. their family has begun to grow. Pero su familia empezado a crecer. And they realize y se dan cuenta, this is a gate. Este es una puerta, no. This is not there. This is a gate. Este es una puerta. This is not where we're supposed to be. No es donde tenemos que permanecer. God, I pray for those people Dios, oro por aquellas personas that are stuck in a moment, Lord. Están atorados en un momento. That in a relationship is filled with fears. Que una relación que está llena de miedo. That young man that looking at his past thinking that he has no future. Jóvenes que ven su pasado y piensan que no tienen futuro. God, I ask you for those, those people, Lord, that are really hurting and perhaps by the church were hurt at some point maybe they were let down by a religious person I ask you Lord that they can look up and they can look at you and they say God I don't want to be one foot in and one foot out anymore Lord I pray right now that you bring healing to the families you bring healing to the men bring healing to the women God I pray God that you in this very moment please God lift us up why don't you ask Jesus right there where you are you have your eyes closed and just begin to ask God to help you to, to come out of this chapter that this pandemic no matter what what other people are feeling or saying that some people cannot see the end that you can say I see the end I know it's ending I can see that this is a gate and I will not be here forever that you begin to see the problem as opportunities God God, I ask you right now that you give us vision down the road vision vision for the future God God help us to see beyond our conditions would you remove fears God make us bold as lions God help us please would you change this this hearts God change these hearts Lord help us Lord to become those people that give reason to praise God instead of begging help us God to bring your glory to your name I thank you Jesus because you still work miracles you still do miracles yesterday, today and forever you are the God who can change any circumstance but even more miraculously you can change anyone I thank you Lord for your love and your patience I thank you for your loving hand that lifts us up in your name I pray amen and amen listen as you go through this moment reach out there's a John and there's a Peter there's someone there someone that God will use grab on to that person's hand I know as a man it's hard for us to follow but sometimes we have to put our pride aside and say hey you know what I don't know how to say this but would you pray for me would you help me out God wants to help you through it amen God bless you guys and we'll see you next week Goodbye. Bye.
Thank you, Pastor, for that incredible word. If you were blessed by this message, we encourage you to share it with your friends and family on your social media so that they can be blessed too. It might just be what they need to hear. All right, CFFM, we love you. Hope to see you soon. Stay connected.